everyone, it's Julia. I'm back today with another sweatshirt transformation. This one I've converted into a jacket, a comfort colored sweatshirt, and the color is called sandstone. It kind of has a little bit of a, a greenish undertone to it, and I really love it with the, the aqua colors and the, and the teal colors. A couple things that I did a little differently on this is I added patch pockets. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I, how I make these pockets. They're made completely from the sweatshirt band that I cut off. It's kind of a neat, neat technique. I also added a toggle closure to the front of this. This closure is made from the neck band. And it's similar to, I think they were called frogs back in the day. Um, but it's, it has like a knot on one side and then the loop on the other and it just kind of catches over over the knot. It's fun because it doesn't take any additional buttons. It's all made from basically bits and pieces of the sweatshirt. I did cut the cuff off, turned it back, and added a little fabric embellishment to it. I added that same fabric, just a, a line down the, the lapel which has been turned back and stitched and also added a little bit of that fabric to the toggle and its toggle itself. And so I think that's all I need to explain. Let's just get started and I'm going to show you the steps. I'll be starting with the deconstruction of the sweatshirt, cutting off this lower band first. Kind of just kind of cutting up the side seam here. And then I'll be cutting it right below the stitching line. Every sweatshirt's a little bit different, but I like to leave I like to leave this seam on and I actually use that as the hem of the sweatshirt. So the, no additional hem needs to be done because it is like a finished edge on there. So I'll be cutting off this the band going all the way around and I'll be saving this band because this is what I'm making the patch pocket. I'm cutting the neck band off next. Again, starting at that seam. This seam is kind of in the in the back of this particular sweatshirt. So just cutting that down and then following along. This sweatshirt has like a covered seam in the back. And I'm just cutting right above that. This is what I will be making the toggle from. So I, I am also going to be saving this little piece that I'm cutting off. The cuffs are coming off also. I'm going to be cutting right above the stitching line on this and kind of getting, getting rid, of, rid of this seam here completely. I save the cuffs. I do make projects from the with the cuffs and I will be including that in some of my upcoming videos. I, I make these really fun fingerless mittens out of them. I'm at my cutting mat on the floor. This just seems to be the easiest way for me to lay my sweatshirts out for this next cut which is down the center front. I want to make sure everything is just laying nice and flat and smooth. And then I just take my 24 inch ruler and I just mark the center pieces, the center, just kind of up and down this whole front of my sweatshirt. I'm getting this center front marked and then lining up the little marks. On to the pocket. I have my band here and I, I cut two pieces for each pocket. One piece is cut at seven inches. 
and one piece at eight inches. I'm going to go ahead and cut the other one for the other pocket. It's onto my sewing machine and I open the 8, eight inch one up and then take the 7 inch one and leave it folded and I will be stretching this and this creates the top of my pocket and it will kind of pull it in a little bit and add a, like a little just like a fun little patch pocket and the top of it's going to all be finished off because it will have the fold on it. I will be taking this to my serger but you can certainly just use a regular sewing machine for this um, and again I'm going to be stretching it so this this top part will meet that 8 inch bottom part. The top of the patch pocket has been sewn. Now I, I like to to round the bottoms on, of my pocket and I just kind of eyeball this and just kind of round this a little bit. I find that's just easier to edge finish these if the corners are round. Now it's back to the sewing machine for edge finishing. I'm going to be using my serger for this. Only use like an a applique stitch on your regular sewing machine. I'm going to be edge finishing the pockets. The neck band, my lapels on my on my jacket, and also the bottom of my cuffs. I've turned back my lapels and pinned them in place. I will be stitching this down um, with my regular sewing machine, just doing a straight stitch kind of in the center of this surged edge. I also pin my patch pockets on. I like to put my pockets as close to the bottom as I can. It's about a little bit less than an inch from the bottom and about an inch and a half, two inches from the center front. And again, I'll also be just straight stitching these on all the way around in the center of the surged edge. I want to make sure that I backstitch a couple times going back and forth on each of the this pocket and both at the top ends. This is a stress steam and you're putting your hands in and out quite a bit so I just want to make sure that that's secure. And that's my next step on this and I'll be back with some of the embellishments and also explaining that the toggle front. I recently found this fabric it is a Sylvia's sonnet for the P and B textiles. I will link it down below the the collection. When I'm looking for fabric, when I for my embellishments, I really love looking for things that are geometrically shaped like this. This one has squares in rows. I also love the artsy kind of the artsy look of this with the swirls and and then just circles and more of the geometric shapes. I did put some heat and bond light. The heat and bond light is the one in the purple package on the back of some of this. This is what I'm going to be using for the embellishment or the applique that goes down the lapel and also the cuffs. For the the toggle I did edge finish this um, neckband and I'll be putting some of this fabric on the neckband too. I have cut a piece of the cotton fabric, just cut the strip. One of them has, does not have the heat and bond on the back and one of them does. I'm using the one without the heat and bond and I'm just going to turn in the edges of it and iron these flat. This is ready to be sewn down the center of this neckband. And I'm just going to be taking this to my sewing machine and sewing on both sides of this all the way down. 
I'm cutting approximately four inches off of my strip and that is going to be the loop part of my fastener. With the rest of this I'm going to just tie a knot, just look like one slip knot, keeping the fabric on the outside. And then I'm going to lay this flat and I'm going to cut so this it measures about three inches. So now I have the part with the knot and I have the, the part with the loop. To pin this on, I put it right below the lapel where the lapel ends. The loop part goes on, this will be the right side of the, of the, of the garment, the left side as it's laying flat. And I just pin that in place. And then on this side, I'm going to also pin it in place. I have more than I'm going to need on this. I'll, I will be trimming this after I, after I stitch this down. I do want it to be hanging over a little bit. When I sew this, I like to use a, the feather stitch on my sewing machine and I will show you what that stitch looks like. It comes on a lot of sewing machines with utility stitches. What I like about the feather stitch is I can stitch straight down and it's going to cover the raw edge and it's going to be a little bit off, off the edge and stitch both the jacket and this little closure and kind of finish that edge off. I will also be using the feather stitch on this side. I'm probably going to be stitching this down about right where these pins are and then this will be just trimmed off and I'll show you that. I also have my strip with my heat and bond on it. I'm going to be removing that heat and bond And I put that little embellishment on just one side of the lapel. Now you can certainly put it on both sides. Another fun place to put a little bit of the embellishment is at the top of this of the of the pockets. But for this particular jacket, I ran it down one side of the lapel. I'm just going to clip that off. I also took two of the squares for each of the of the cuff and I am going to be placing that right on the top of the cuff and I'm just going to take my iron and press that in place. I'll be doing it also to the other side and then to iron this down. set up at my, my camera up at the sewing machine so you can kind of see what this, the feather stitch looks like. I'm starting at the first toggle my stitches are going both on the toggle and on the sweatshirt and it's kind of covering up that raw edge And you can see that feather stitch really makes a nice stitch. And on to the other side. And then on to the applique. I'm 
fastening my little toggle and notice how it's kind of loose loop side I'm going to take my the same feather stitch and I'm going to stitch right through here and just tighten that up a little bit and tighten up this little loop just so it kind of hugs that knot a bit more my jacket's almost finished I'm just kind of clipping some threads here also on this side of this side of the the knot side of the um, little closure I'm gonna cut this extra off just real close to my my feather stitching there and you can kind of see how this little toggle works this just slips in and I'm not saying this is a super a, a closure that you're gonna always want closed but it, it adds such a nice little detail to the sweatshirt I hope you enjoyed this if you're interested in seeing any more sweatshirt transformations please subscribe and give this a thumbs up I so appreciate just you just coming along with my along with my journey of crafting and getting ready for my upcoming season so thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a chance to sew today bye